today is, of course, the week battle, battle royale, wig style. Our amazing guests are Vi, Knight, and Kiralee. Guys, you want to just quickly introduce yourselves to the audience? Let them hear your beautiful voices. Go ahead. Hey, I'm Vi. I've been cosplaying for about 15 years now. Hello, I'm Knight. I've been cosplaying for 12 years now. Thanks for having me. Now. <laughs> okay, we have been gifted some wigs from Lumens Workshop, so thank you Lumens. Why don't you guys unveil your wigs? Let's see what we're working with today. <laughs> They're silver and they all look suspiciously the same. So that's okay, we're starting with a, an even ground. A little bit of a mullet going on on these wigs. Now, the format today is do whatever the hell you want. It is a free-for-all. Uh, there are, is no theme. Uh, whatever you feel you are channeling from this week. What is this week feeling today? <laughs> if everybody is ready, I'll count us down. Because it is a battle. So we need to, you know... <laughs> I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Anybody got any ideas on what they want to do yet? Not really. Do <laughs> some flicky things and some spray and hopefully it sorts itself out. Give us the wildest, most insane wig style you guys could ever come up with. <laughs> sure. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure. You've only got 40 minutes because we all know great wigs. I've done in 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I call pong crunching. Like, you know, <laughs> Let's all put ourselves in the position of we just woke up on the morning of the convention and we forgot to style our wig. <laughs> all right, if we're all ready, I think I'll count us down. How about the audience? You guys help me out. Five, four, three. Two, one, go for it! Oh my goodness, okay, night is cutting already. Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> what, what's Kira Lee doing? Straightening, oh, crimping, okay. Bias sectioning, sussing it out. Knight here is using a feathering technique to cut this hair. It's kind of what you want to do so that you don't get those horrible blunt looks to the hair. Classic hairdresser technique. purely has got some amazing crimping going on. <laughs> I haven't crimped my hair since 1993, I think. <laughs> I love to see crimpers again. This is amazing. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah maybe they're just going to go with a bowl cap for today. All right, bye. Got some sectioning. and some trimming of bangs. This is looking good. So Vine, do you want to tell me what you're thinking today? What are you planning? At the moment, I'm just trying to get a lot of the out of the fringe because these Arda wigs are like generally quite long at the front. Um, so if I were to wear this right now, it would probably be coming down to my chin, <laughs> like covering my face. So I'm going to break that at the moment. Great, yeah, we want to be able to see through our wig. So, Knight, what is your vision? Uh, pretty much, 
I'm wanting to go for a more shorter style, so we're doing a lot of like um, spikes. Yeah, so first and then um, yeah from there I'll start styling it. Layers, spikes, I love seeing those wigs. Okay Kiralee, what is uh, your your theory here? I'm here for comic relief um, but I am going for hopefully the volume in the front and part in the back like you through mullet part sort of like start. Yeah. All right cool I have not seen a mullet wig this is gonna be fantastic.
so far. So, what do we think about Kiralee's wig so far? Yes, we've got some fans. All right, how's night doing? Yes! <laughs> and bye fans! Let's pump them up, come on! You guys are doing fantastic. Yes. Okay, we've been going for oh, what time did we start? I think we've been going about 20 minutes now. <laughs> so we have 20 to go. Halfway. You know what? They're looking pretty incredible so far. Ooh, lovely. We've got some gummy hairspray fingers. That'll either help or hinder the styling. Great for getting product on the hair, but not so much getting the hair off the fingers. Curly has sectioned a large top portion. 
What is going to happen here? I don't know. Uh, no, we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit more crimping, a little bit more height. Sorry, through the front here. Um, and yeah. I'm just, I'm just a little bit weak to me, Jill. You know, I'm just, I'm just going with it. We could die for it one time, style. I hope it's telling you good things because okay. this is all going to come together. This is going to look amazing. Okay, nice. What is the plan of attack for the back? A lot of spikes. A lot of spikes and a lot of volume. Excellent. Yes. Lots of volume. And Vine, how are you feeling about this week so far? Uh, still a lot to do. There's so many fibers. That's what we love about Arda Wigs. There's a lot of volume. There's a heap of hair in there. You can like, practically do anything. Oh my goodness, we've got so much teasing going on here on Night's Wig. This is definitely volume, going for a lot of volume. Okay, now we can see the spike forming. Oh, that is impressive. Okay. Does anybody else have a different technique for travelling with a wig? 
I recommend packing your wigs in boxes. I have one of those like plastic container boxes that I put like just the wig head in with the wig on top and then just store it in the box and then that way the wig itself won't get flattened in the luggage. Yeah, so boxes. Boxes are good, yeah. So we're definitely going to have to make some allowances in our suitcases for a box, guys. Kiralee, how did you get your magnificent wig here this weekend? Um, I probably am not the first to ask. Like I said, guys, comic relief, okay? Um, I, I turned it inside out and like baked it in the net and then basically pulled it out when I got here, put it on my husband's head and then just fixed it up. <laughs> Who needs a wig head when you've got a husband? <laughs> so how's the teasing going? Yep, yep. And it's getting thick, amazing. And these ears are looking cute. All right, audience, let's get some cheers going. Let's get a cheer for Kiralee and her teasing. Yes! Let's get a cheer for Knight and these cute fluffy ears. Let's get a time check. We have 10 minutes, you guys. We're on the final stretch. We want to start thinking about uh, finalizing the styling here. Done an incredible job so far. We're coming down to the final countdown. <laughs> Okay. 
So, five minutes to go. Night, we want to finish this last year. <laughs> Kiri looks like she's uh, shushing. I love the heights in the back there, that's looking great. Mine's doing some shushing too, trimming up some stray hairs. What do we think of our amazing cosplay hairstylists, you guys? They're doing a fantastic job! Yes!
All right, show them off to the audience is our winner, Bye. Is our winner, Knight. Is our winner, Kimberly. Oh, that all sounded very even, didn't it? <laughs> We're just gonna give out a participation trophy, you guys. We're all winners here. <laughs> Okay, so where can our lovely audience find you guys during the convention? Um, I will be wandering around. Um, see me this week, Pink Marshmallow, a Gary Brooklyn O Jigglypuff. Um, and tomorrow I will be uh, Halloween suit from My Hero Academia. So look out. What panels are you doing? Oh, yeah, panels. <laughs> so I have got a panel this afternoon at 1 o'clock about um, Cosplay 101, the basics. Um, and then tomorrow I have at 10 o'clock a panel about uh, eco cosplay, so how to make environmentally conscious decisions with cosplay. Um, and then we have a panel of three at one. Yes, one o'clock about cosplay and all of the goodness. That is tomorrow night. What panels are you doing this weekend? Um, pretty much just the panel that we're doing at one o'clock. Um, and then tomorrow doing the cosplay competition judging. Yeah, so yeah, just uh, today's panel and that's it. Where can they find you otherwise? Um, mostly I'll be at my booth, just um, the first row of Artist Alley. Um, kind of wandering around a little bit as well. But yeah, you can find me there. Thank you. And Vi, are you doing any panels? Where can they find you? Same panel that they've already mentioned and I'm right next to night. Um, so easy to find near the cosplay repair. Thank you guys so much for your showing off your amazing skills. I hope everybody in the audience learned something. Thank you all for attending and have an enjoyable rest of the day. Bye-bye.